since MetaQuest released its newest update, I see a lot of YouTubers making videos for how VR goggles can finally replace your monitors. But one of the most uh, common complaints that I see a lot of these YouTubers are having is they are complaining about the weight and the fact that it has a battery, so your limited your use is limited. But the biggest thing is the people are complaining about the weights, and I don't see a lot of YouTubers actually talk about products like AR and XR glasses. Well, basically XR glasses, uh, which kind of solve the problem for um, comfort, but. Despite all these glasses being very capable and improving in sound quality and things like that, can they finally replace your monitors like the VR goggles can? Well, today I'm going to be answering that question by showing you guys how a couple of these AR glasses uh, tackles that issue and how to do so if this is something that you're looking to do, AR glasses to replace your monitor in 2024. This video has been recorded on, the, on December 27th. So this is based on what is currently available. When I bought my first X-Real glasses, it was the Enreal Air. It's now X-Real. They used to be known as Enreal, and I bought my glasses then with uh, when they were Enreal. At that time, I had this idea of uh, you know watching movies and doing productivity when I'm away from my home desk, and it sounded nice. The idea sounded better than I was able to execute it with the glasses because at that time. There wasn't really any software. Um, the only thing that eventually came about was Ginger XR, and Ginger XR actually worked well for me. But the, there was the one thing with Ginger XR it was that there was a, a little bit of a there was a screen drift. It wasn't actually a little bit; it was a lot of screen a screen drift. So it's like you know you have the display right in front of you but then slowly it just shifts to the side and you have to reset it all the time and that was kind of annoying and then they did an update and then the update just kind of ruined everything uh, anyways i stopped using it because extra released nebula beta for windows so i started using extra's nebula for windows and while it worked for my pc it consumed a lot of power it wasn't the most stable thing. It was usable, but it wasn't the most stable thing and it consumed a lot of power. So I started looking for an alternative and then I found out about AR Money. AR Money is a software that some person developed and it worked with, uh, you know, extra glasses. So I started using it and it wasn't perfect, but it was doable. What I liked about Nebula was that Nebula gave me the option for ultra wide display and it gave me an option for one display, two display, three display. You can have, you can choose basically different types of displays that you wanted and it will give you that experience. It just wasn't stable, but when it did work, it worked great. But when it didn't work, which was most of the time, it was frustrating. And then you had AR Money. AR Money, I liked it because it allowed me to stack windows to stack my displays uh, however I wanted to. So my monitors could be just like how you would have it physically. You can have it on top of each other or side to side. I like that option, but there was a lot of screen drift. And then they came out with an update. The update completely ruined my experience and I stopped using AR Money. I was just like, man, what is the alternative? Well, I had a rocket glasses. I was like, my rocket glasses, I can barely use it. I can't use it because I prefer using my Enreal glasses when I'm on the phone and when I'm on the PC, there was no PC software, so I really couldn't use my rocket glasses. And then I bought the Rayneo and I found out that Rayneo had a PC software called the Mirrorlink and I started using the Rayneo's PC software and that is pretty much what I use up until December of this month. The reason why I used the Rayneo's PC software was unlike Nebula, Rayneo's PC software was very stable for me. It was extremely stable. I liked the experience, but there was one big thing that really, really annoyed me. With Radeon's PC software, it's like you open this app, right? You drag all the windows that you want to use into the app, and that, that app is what is projected into your face. What that means is that you can't just easily press your Windows button and easily access all the other app. You're locked into this 
whatever app that you've chosen so whatever three app or four app or whatever it is that you've chosen that's the only apps that you can interact with at that time and you can drag and drop from one window to the other from one monitor to the other so what i end up doing was with with uh, radio's P, uh, pc software i would pretty much open my video editor and i would just stay in there whenever i want to use a different app i would have to exit the whole experience and it was just it was not smooth you know it, it, it was doable because throughout the, you know throughout the time i had the air 2s or air 2 i pretty much just whenever i went to my girl's house or when when i was on the go i pretty much always took two two glasses with me i would always have my extra glasses because the extra and the beam pro gave me the best experience for mobile so when i'm watching movies or stuff like that or browsing extra just did it best with the extra beam it was just the best experience but when it came to productivity i would always take my rainier because rainier's pc software was just better at than any other pc software that i've used so i would just pretty much use my rainier air 2s and i did that all the way up until the extra ones came out the extra one just completely changed the game for me because now I don't have to rely on any software. The glasses itself just works. You plug it in and you get a 3 dot instantly. If you haven't seen my full video, my full review of this glasses, you should check it out. It basically has a chip built into this glasses that allows you to have a 3 dot Basically, you plug this glasses into the computer and you put it in your face it's gonna feel like you have an actual monitor in front of you a monitor that you can actually toggle between a regular 19 by 20 or a ultra wide super ultra wide mode that actually curves around you and it's a giant screen monitor that your computer when you plug into your computer your computer actually thinks it's a physical monitor it does not treat it like a virtual or anything it just treats it as a physical like it would treat it as a physical monitor what that means is that from your computer you can change the uh, some of the aspect ratio you can zoom in in and out if you want to see text clearer uh, one of the questions i get a lot of is can you read text i can read text perfectly fine and if you need to adjust the text so you can see it even more you can basically do that in windows and i'm sure you can do that in mac as well but the flexibility of settings that you can do on the windows that works with this is incredible it treats it just like a physical monitor so you plug these glasses on there is it's as simple as that. there is no software required you just turn your head around and you look at you can look at the screen so when it comes to productivity you have to go with extra ones they are the best right now when it comes to productivity if you don't have the extra ones and you don't want to buy it I have created a folder with all the software for different companies that I that I found. So for example with Xtrio, right? I found that the first version of Nebula of Windows worked a whole lot better for me than the newest update that they had. So since you can't find since most people are not going to be able to find a link to download that first version of Nebula which works for me, I have put it in a folder so in the folder, you're going to see Nebula for Windows 2023 version. If you have been struggling to have Windows, Nebula for Windows, if you have Xtru and you've been struggling to have Nebula work on your PC, try the, the, the two versions. So try the Xtru's 2023 version first. If that doesn't work, then try the Nebula Windows 0.7.0. You're gonna see those in the folder. If you have Rainio's glasses, then you're gonna see the one that says Rainio Mirror Link. You wanna you wanna download that from the folder and use that for your uh, for your glasses. And if you have the Rokid, Rokid doesn't have any PC software as far as I know. What I used for my Rokid was the AR Money. So AR Money works with uh, Xtrio and it works with uh, Rokid. I actually don't, I don't know if I've ever tried AR Money with Rainio, but uh, the Rainio's PC software works, it just works so well that I don't think you would need to use AR Money. But if you like to have the option 
to use our other software, try AR Money. And also, in the folder, I have the AR Money 0.07.6.3. I think they are at 0.7.6.7 now. So you can go to the website and actually download the newest update and support the guy who actually made the software because it is nice that someone was actually able to take the time and do something like this for us. So, yes, you guys, uh, whatever, for whatever glasses that you currently have, if you check that folder, you might have something in there that might be compatible for you. Like I said, if you have Rokid, use Air Armani. If you have Extra, try Nebula first. If that doesn't work well for you, then use Air Armani. If you have Rainio, then use Mirrorlink. If you have Vitra, then use uh, Vitra's Spacewalker. Just go on their website and search for Spacewalker or something like that. And then I have also included uh, a sample 3D video for you guys in the folder. That way, if you have an extra or radio or Vitro or any of these AR glasses and you don't have a 3D content to try just to see how it looks in 3D, I have included the video for you that you can download and just watch it. It's a trailer for a movie, and but it's in 3D, and I think you guys are going to love it. Or if you just want to show someone what 3D looks like in your glasses, just play this video and show it to them. So, can AR glasses replace your physical monitor? My answer is yes. Since I've had these glasses by Xtreo, I've been using them non-stop. Sometimes I actually prefer using this in ultra-wide mode compared to my actual physical monitor because my physical monitors are stacked, whereas with the ultra-wide, it's actually one long display. And I use something called Fancy Zone, uh, which is by uh, Windows. Windows has this uh, app or feature called fancy zones which can allow you to arrange your windows in sections and i use that so i have my video editor my web browser and something i can just have them all open in that uh virtual monitor so i personally enjoy it i use it all the time I've, i'm talking about i use it for hours and hours even when i'm home sometimes i find myself using my ar glasses more than my physical monitor which just tells you that yes, they can absolutely replace your monitor. The one downside is right now, you can't change the aspect ratio when you're in the ultra wide mode. When you're in the ultra wide mode, you can, uh, I mean, you can reduce the size in windows, like change the zoom levels and all that stuff, but you can't make the actual monitor bigger than what it is. You can make it smaller, but you can't make it bigger. So that's the only downside. You can't bring it closer or farther from you. If you want to have the option to uh, completely customize your experience with the ultra wide monitor and stuff like that, then you would have to use something like Nebula. But then again, Nebula is not that stable. And this is also if you have x -Real. If you don't have x -Real, if you have like, let's say Rokid, then you would have to use AR Money. Even if you have x -Real, you can still use AR Money. But as you can see, all other options are software based. Whenever you have something that is software based, it can vary from computer to computer. Typically, when you're trying to use an AR glasses to replace your monitor, it means that you're running some kind of software. Well, most time, most of the most of the times, you're running some kind of software like video editor or coding or something like that. These video editors or coding programs or things like that are already. Uh, power consum consuming so when you have to run an additional software it's gonna uh, to, to power the glass it's gonna run your your computer's battery even lower uh, much quicker so that's why I prefer the Xreals ones version of this which is the software is built into the glasses themselves now I have already measured the power consumption level of these glasses and they don't draw a whole lot of power now the, the glasses can get a little bit hot uh, at the top over a period of use like hours and hours, but you don't have to worry about that because that part that gets hot doesn't actually touch your physical skin. At least not in my use case, it doesn't touch my physical skin. So I have no problem with that. I can use these glasses for hours and hours. The only thing is after some times, you know, I'm, I'm on the right side of my ear, it gets a little bit of uncomfortable. It's not like, super uncomfortable but it's just stickiness because i'm sweating or it's just sticking to my skin so i just have to every now and then wipe it off but other than that you know using the glasses is very very comfortable for me 
uh, there's there's a new new eye comfort level with the glasses where I can use the glasses all day now and I feel perfectly fine. The previous ones, after some time, I get maybe a little bit of a high fatigue or I get sleepy. With these glasses, I can pretty much use them all day, all day long. Now, speaking of softwares, I wanted to mention, uh, I've heard a lot of good things about Spacewalker for features. I haven't tried it myself. I have this Spacewalker on my PC and I've tried it a little bit, but I haven't actually, I don't own the glasses, so it's hard for me to really give you guys my my opinion on how features work i have reached out to work with feature uh sent them an email but for some reason they don't i guess i don't know if they don't want to work with me or maybe i'm just not popular enough or whatever it is but i've reached out to features to work with them i sent out emails but no one ever replies me but anyways this is uh been my opinion with all these glasses that i've used so if you have any questions, drop it down in the comment section. Peace.